Hi everyone, my name is Miss Tess from the Huntington Public Library. Welcome to Kite Day, A Bear and Mole Story. This is written by Will Hillenbrand, and it's a funny little story about how excited um, Bear and Mole get uh, because it's a, a windy day and Bear realizes that they can make a kite and you'll see the adventure that ensues. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. To Mary, my editor and friend. That's the dedication that the author, Will Hillenbrand, uh, wrote in the book for his friend. Bear looked at the sky. Could it be? He wondered. What is he looking up to the sky for? I wonder. Look, he sees the windy, the wind in the clouds. He tilted his head up. Whiff, whiff, whiff. He smiled and then shouted, oh, Kite Day! Bear rushed home. Huff, huff, puff, huff, oh, he's running, he's running. Come on! Bear waved to Mole. Kite day is here! And Mole is digging with his shovel in the ground, as moles will do. Bear collected. He Mole studied. Bear snatched. They're getting, looks like they're getting together all the supplies they will need to build a kite. Bear measured and cut. Mole drew. They both constructed. Look at them working together to make a kite. Looks like hard work, but it looks like they're working together. Finally, they raced into the meadow. The kite flew. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh, how exciting for Bear and Mole. Look how happy they are. Do you see Bear's arms overjoyed over his head, raised up over his head? And it looks like they're both smiling. Oh, I'm happy for them. It soared up, up, up. Oh, wow, look how high it went into the sky. Oh, but then dark, heavy clouds rolled in. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Oh, it sounds like a storm, a thunderstorm. Hmm, will the kite be okay? It's only made out of paper, see, and wood, and a string. <gasps> the breeze grew in a gust, then snap, the kite string broke. Oh dear, all that hard work. I hope they're not too disappointed. Oh, look at Bear. <gasps> Away, 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 spun the kite. Oh no, screamed Mole and Bear. Down, 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 plunged the kite. Aw, shucks. I guess that's the end of the kite. It's so colorful too. Save the kite, shouted Mole. The two ran. Hurry, 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 urged Bear. There it is. You see it all the way back here? Look how small it is. So far away from them. Mole stopped. He tilted his head up. Oh, I think I see something in the tree there. Remember the kite was yellow. Hmm. What's up in the tree? Start thinking about that. What lives up in a tree? Splat, splat, splat. Rain pelted the brook. It couldn't get any worse. Look, cried Bear. Oh, sighed Mole. 
Look at that. Here's the kite shielding the baby bird. Oh, these are baby birds in a nest because they live in a tree. Yes, that's what lives up in a tree. And so they're not getting wet. <gasps> tree, tree, chirp, 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 chirp. Squeak the chicks. Oh, thank you, sang the mother bird. She's so happy that her birdies didn't get wet. And look how happy Bear and Mole are. They're not disappointed that their kite was broken. They can make a new one and they help someone else. That's a great story. And that's the end of Bear and Mole. So I hope you enjoyed Kite Day and stay tuned for the directions to learn how to make your own. Hi everybody, welcome back to Kite Day, a bear and mole story by Will Hillebrand. This is the craft portion of the, the, uh, the story at time. So um, what I'd like to do is go through what's in your kit and then we'll get started. So I've laid out my stuff here and what you have is a kite. Now I've cut mine out already, yours is outlined. So I did that already, but you'll cut out your kite. You also have a piece of yarn, a very thin piece of yarn, which is for the tail of the kite. You've got a fabric square. Each one of you will have different colored fabric squares, as well as you've got some pre-cut shapes. So you're making a shape kite. Now, these, some of these shapes are maybe large. You may want to cut them up. Some of them are a little smaller. So you've got some squares, some circles, some rectangles. So. You've got that. I asked you to also have a glue stick or glue on hand. Crayons, if you'd like to do some coloring on your kite. If not, they're optional. If you prefer or only have scotch tape, that is fine as well to tape on the string for the kite. You also have these, uh, I'm calling them bonus bookmarks. This, is, this fabric that I've given you is from an upholstery book. It's a sample book. So when I cut them out of the the booklet, there were these ends left like this. And I looked at them in the garbage and I said, these, this looks like a bookmark to me. So you can leave it as is and use it as a bookmark, or you can um, color the back, cover it with something. I gave you this, uh, this is watercolor paper, or finger paint paper, excuse me. It's got a little bit of a sheen on it. Um, you can use, you can cut it out and use it to color this. Or if you've got construction paper, wrapping paper, anything you want, um, you can do that. So I thought these bonus bookmarks looks kind of interesting. And as I said, everyone has different colors in their kits. So just a quick review of Kite Day. If you remember in the story, Bear is just so excited that uh, it seems like he looks outside. It seems like it'll be a great day to fly a kite. And let's see. He looks up to the sky. He sees some wind. That's what this, these swirly lines are in the book. He tilts his head up and he announces, yes, it's kite day. So he runs to find who? Who does he go to find? Mole, right? And he finds Mole who's shoveling, right? He's digging a hole as moles will dig hole. Uh, and he says, it's, it's time to make a kite. So they collect some stuff. They build, they, they, they study how to build a kite. Mole studies, bears doing his part. They're measuring and cutting, they're drawing, they're constructing. So you're making a simple, a much simpler kite. And they, Right, so then they, they race out to the meadow, the kite flies, it soars up in the sky, then there's um, heavy clouds roll in, beginning of a, um, a rainstorm, and um, here's that string I was talking about, and this uh, fabric that you have, well, you're going to cut them into strips, and this will be the uh, for the tail, just, you know, to decorate it. So, right, the kite goes up, the, the string breaks, it gets taken up, and away it goes and they think all is lost oh no and then it plunges down and they're running after save the kite save the kite hurry 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 they stop it, it it gets stuck in the tree they think that's it it's over it's raining but then they hear chirp 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 the little baby chicks it actually ended up protecting the nest of the new baby birdies that were born. And the mother bird is ever so grateful and she says thank you. So that was the inspiration. So now let's, uh, and, and a quick review, now let's make a kite. So the first thing you'll do, as I said, is you'll cut out your orange kite, as I have already done. 
And then the sec on the second step, I said, oh, sorry, still on page one. Uh, attach the string to the bottom with, okay, so I'm gonna do that. Let's get some scotch tape here. All right, I'm gonna tape that like so. All right, and um, um, in the instructions I had said, I suggested that you um, decorate both sides of it. Again, this is optional. You, you decorate as much or as little as you like, and you can color as much as, as little as you like. So I'm looking at my shapes here. What have I got here? I've got some blue, some yellow, some green, some orange. So I'm gonna make some decisions here. What I'm deciding right now is, I see this rectangle. I'm gonna cut a skinnier strip out of it and see what I can do with it. Okay, so I've got four now, four skinny strips. So now I'll take a little glue from my glue stick. I'm just gonna make, I'm gonna go on this right here like a border like this. Okay, and then I've got the other one. Let's see, not too much glue, of course. You really don't need that much. Okay, I'm gonna leave a little space here. So, yeah, my kite is starting to take shape. Maybe I'll do one more here. Okay, oh, I'm starting to get like it already, let's see. And here, okay, here, here, and here. And I'm thinking I am going to decorate both sides, so I don't wanna use all of my shapes right now, so. Okay, so now I wanna go on and show you how to make this tail. Let me check my directions. It tells me take the fabric square and cut it into long strips. So, just like so. And parents and caregivers, this is an opportunity to have your child practice cutting skills. So try and have them do, as always, as much of the project as possible, asking questions along the way, helping them. It might be that you're putting your hand on theirs or you're guiding the paper or fabric in this case. And I'm just cutting a couple of strips here. This is gray, so it's a very, very light gray. So I'm gonna set that aside, and then I wanna show you what we're gonna do. And here's another an opportunity to practice tying a knot, okay? It's just a simple knot, and then this is what decorates a kite and, it, and helps it stay afloat in the sky. So yeah, we've got one. I'm gonna space this out a, a little over here another one on and then you just continue along like so so okay like that so maybe I'll put um, maybe I'll put a little something on my kite what should I put on here um, I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put a little red heart right here just because I like a little red heart right here. You can practice your name. You can just color colors if you like. There we go. So I'm giving it a little decoration as we go along. And you know, it, it'll you can make have this take as much time as you like or as little time as you like. You can spend five minutes each day and really, really decorate it up. Um, let me check my directions to see if I've missed a step. Nope. We've got all the steps there. We're coloring, we're cutting, we're gluing, we're tying the, the um, fabric squares on. And when it's completed, you'll have a cute little kite and then you can retell the story of Kite Day. Um, and I hope you enjoyed making this. Stay safe, have fun, and hope to see you soon. Bye.